Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to Microsoft, they will be officially ending support for Windows 10 in October next year, 2025. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, which I'll leave down below in the description, this unfortunately will leave millions of PCs that can't be upgraded and won't be able to run Windows 11 after October next year. And this Windows 10 laptop, which I'm currently um, filming this video on and um, recording this video on, uh, is one of those. And as you can see, and as I've mentioned previously, doesn't meet the system requirements to run Windows 11 due to the strict CPU and TPM requirement. Now, a lot of um, Windows 10 devices, as an example, will find, and Windows 10 users will find themselves in a similar situation, especially in corporations and enterprises in October next year, unless you are prepared to um, subscribe to a paid subscription of Windows 10, and I'll also leave that video down below. But for a lot of users, this isn't an option. And this is where Google has now seen a so-called gap in the market, where Google now wants you to install Chrome OS and turn your old, outdated, so to speak, or unsupported Windows 10 device that can't run Windows 11 into a Chromebook. Now, personally, I don't have a problem with, it, with this because I run a Chromebook as part of my device setup and that's because I'm quite tied into the Google ecosystem and I actually find it a very effective, smooth running, stable, um, no frills, no nonsense kind of OS and it just gets the job done, um, especially if you are tied into the Google ecosystem. Now just a brief background on Chrome OS Flex. Chrome OS Flex um, has been around now for a couple of years and it was formerly known as Neverwhere Cloud Ready. And basically, it's a modified version of Chrome OS that can be installed on your older devices like 32-bit based PCs. And obviously, um, very similar to what's found on your traditional Chromebook. Now, Google has published a blog post, which um, we have now on my desktop, where obviously you upgrade your PCs and Macs to Chrome OS Flex, where they have now seen this gap in the market where they are wanting to use Chrome OS Flex now to breathe new life into those older devices that don't meet the requirements um, to be upgraded to Windows 11, especially next year when Windows 10 support officially ends according to Microsoft. Now from that blog post, and from this blog post, um, Google has said, and I'm quoting, with hundreds of millions of Windows 10 devices losing support soon because they are ineligible for the newest version of Windows, finding a way to keep these PCs secure and sustainable should be a top priority. And obviously that's now why they are trying to push um, obviously this installation now of Chrome OS Flex and obviously this is I think a better option to reuse older equipment rather than create more e-waste and dump more e-waste onto the landfall and personally I think this is a good idea especially um, on older devices. Now just a couple of things to take into consideration with this move. Um, this is what we would say a smart move by Google. Because obviously um, Chrome OS um, can run on older hardware, but um, if you are really tied into the Microsoft ecosystem, you may have a problem because it can't run Windows software. But there are um, online versions of Microsoft Office and OneDrive and um, Word and Excel, as many of you will know, and you can create and turn those into PWAs, and as an example, then you can run that on Chrome OS. So there's always a bit of a give and take. So you won't be able to download and install um, Microsoft Office, but you can run Office Online as an example. So just to give you a bit of a comparison there, and obviously if you are heavy into gaming, I don't think Chrome OS is going to be for you. So there's a bit of give and take, but nonetheless, if you are really just doing normal day-to-day um, -day browsing or admin work, I personally don't see why Chrome OS um, Flex will not work on your older um, Windows 10 PC if you do decide to install it. Now, if we just head back um, online, yeah, we can see um, a certified models list, which I'll leave down below. And uh, you can head to this website and you can check if your um, model of your device will be able to be upgraded to Chrome OS Flex. And I think most... Um, devices would be able to meet the requirements for Chrome OS Flex. And if we just go back here, um, here we can see the whole installation and prepare for installation process. And this will also be down below. And you can just, I'll leave this down below for quick access and reference. So if you want to follow this path or if you are interested, 
Um, this will give you a step-by-step -step guide and the, the minimum requirements and so on. And just that certified models list, which you can have a more in-depth look at if you would be interested. But nonetheless, um, as mentioned, Windows 10 support ending next year in October. Google has seen a gap in the market, which I personally don't have a problem with. And just wanted to keep you guys posted as we like to do on the channel, because I actually think, especially if you are an average home user, just going about your everyday average and computing tasks, I actually think this is a good viable option. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.